Okay, what's up guys? This is Trey again, and this is the fourth part of my episode on how to create a XRPC tool for NW2, and the last time we added uh, a bool for the super jump, for the jump high, to toggle it, and um, for the laser, and, and we added Anthrax. Um, like no clip UFO mode and the normal movement. Um, you also can give a freeze, so a freeze they can't move at all and can't shoot. Um, for that you need to set the two to inf to the f um, to a four. And yeah, this time we add unlock all. So we're gonna add button again and then double click on it alright um, I already got this code it's the newest one from um, drawsim20 um, so that's C++ but you can convert it really easy you just copy this code Alright, and now paste it. Um, first of all, you need to type in private and then paste it in. Okay, this will give you many error messages. Yeah. Alright, um, now we will add right before that we need to write jtech.call and then remove these this do a comma and then alright now we need to do this on every command uh, I mean from uh, call so I'm gonna stop the video. I'm gonna stop the recording right now, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back, and th the easiest way to do this is just mark all the whole code. All right, and now press str f. And then I got this code, just type it in, just type in jtech.call. No, hold on. You need to just type in sv and then client index comma one comma. Alright, this will be best for this. And then just Click replace all. Okay. Now we got one of all. Now we need to add some sleeps, otherwise it will give you a um, uh, SV sent a uh, game sent server command overflow. So what we what we are gonna do is just go down and then type in system dot threading dot red dot sleep. And then something like, and then um, 100, and then you can do something like jtech.call um, sv, comma, y, index, 1, and then you can 
just write some code like <coughs> um, unlock all 25% done and just give it some color Just copy this, scroll down, change this to 50, scroll down, change again to 75, and then Now we got this done, and now you can just scroll up again. Go to our uh, double click. First of all, rename the text to on the ball, and then add a numeric up down. And then we just do something like unlock, do unlock all. And then, oops, int in the work, oops, client equals convert to integer numeric down for dot value, oops, value client, and then you're done. Alright, this will give you unlock uh, all. So, oh. And we need to do again something like client is equal to so minus one. Then we'll do for int i equals zero i is less than 0x eleven i plus plus and then do on the all and then the i yep, and these brackets these brackets if there's just one line you're adding to a statement and you don't need the brackets so, um, yeah, this will give you unlock all, and now we can add, um, I don't know, give weapons, maybe? Hold on, let me just get, um, okay, we have set model laser. Yeah, we could do set model. Alright. Add a button and then rename it again to set model. Add a number, get down, up, down again. And now, um, double click on set model and you need to define, um, the um, get anti, so it's public unset integer, get anti, get anti, int client, 
client index and then return it um, and then close converted client index multiplied by 280 and this should work I don't know if this, if this is going to work so we will see or otherwise it's give me a second, I'll search for the code. Alright, I added something to the code, so um, this will give, give you uh, the entity because you will need it for the set model. Alright, um, now what I do is adding a combo box for the um, model list um, first of all you need to do jtag dot call and then the address is hold on just scroll up public insert integer model equals um, right take call um, model comma and it's basically like you need to get entity then the client index for that we need to type in again in client and then convert it to an integer and then mark it down five dot value oops client comma and then it's um the combo box dot text. Alright, and then we add again if client is equals to minus one, then we add a for loop int i is less than zero ah, zero x eleven i plus plus and then jt.call <coughs> model get entity i and then combo box combo box dot text alright um what you also can add is um Something like jtag call, whoops, dot, dot call, and then sv, and then the client again, comma one, and then comma, and then a um, text message saying model set to, and then plus combo box text plus alright so it will show you what your what you um, set your model to okay um now we need to get the models and well that I need to um pause the video again so I'll be right back in a second.
Okay guys, I'm back and I've got a big list um, for every map. Um, yeah, so I'm going to pick one of them and then just copy, go into my tool, that, edit items and then paste it just in there. Alright, um, if you want to change them or just add more than just do it, uh, provide a link for the of our download for all of them. Oops. It's estate. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'll be making a. I'll do a pick for the unlock all and certain model so oh and you also need to um set third person so there will be um a debuff I just set it with a sensible command so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next part. But okay guys I'm back and I just noticed that I need to add more sleeps so just just type in system uh, threading thread dot sleep again and I don't know like one hundred again copy it and add it somewhere again get it up add it again and again and oh and I just uh, also noticed that you can't write person so um, just remove that with person Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna start it again and I will make the pick of um a set model and yeah, see you in a bit. Okay I'm back and as you can see um I set my model to uh to a TNT bomb and yeah it's working. The unlock all does um work too so I'm gonna copy and paste um, the code into the description I'll probably uh, upload it on pastebin so you can just copy it from there because it's easier and yeah uh, next time we will add uh, hood elements so get ready and hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next part bye